Welcome everybody, how's it going? Uh, we are here Welcome with episode 11, I believe, of Subnautica Below Zero, and we're gonna get immediately onto it, make sure we don't miss out on anything that we wanna do. So, if I remember correctly, um, I did say I might have some things created already from the previous episode. Unfortunately, it hasn't been done, but we still do have a lot of things going on. First things first, we've got a lot of upgrades we want to make, such as the Sea Drop, Sea Truck Depth Mark 3, which we cannot make because we lack uh, the Nickel Ore, but we also have everything else on the top right, as you can see. I just want to make sure that I have all these storage modules that I need, or all the modules for my Sea Truck that I need. Okay. So, I say, I say what? Let's see what we have first. We've got this. We've got a wiring kit. We need an advanced wiring kit, which needs a computer chip. Right. We need, ooh, a bunch of plasteel ingots. We have one, but that is it. Uh, can we make more? We have enough lithium for more. You know what, I'll make two more, at least with lithium. Then I'm not sure about that. Three, four, five, beautiful. So I believe if we are able to make a couple more um, titanium ingots, we should be able to make two extra plasteel ingots and therefore uh, have a lot more plasteel ingots um, to create everything that we want, which would be good, because right now it seems like we definitely need three plasteel ingots, because there are three pieces of equipment that I can make, which are the three sea truck modules, actually. So that's something that we can continue on. Uh, we will need this advanced wiring kit, which is unfortunate, because we need to now make a wiring kit, a computer chip as well. So that should be quite easy, though. Um, but... I'm not sure, now that I look at it, because I do not have many things. Anyway, I think we just need a couple wire for that, and then a couple of tape core samples for the wiring, uh, not for the wiring, for the computer chip. So, uh, let's make sure we don't make a mistake. We've got our computer chip done, we've got our wiring kit, and now we will need to do some um, mining, or searching, maybe. That's probably the more correct term. For not only lead, but also... Yeah, just lead, actually. <laughs> I was gonna say, but also this, but... Nope. We do not need anything else. You know what would be nice, though? What if I just get all those and put them in the recyclotron? Because I didn't use it last time, and you might have realized that... Oh. Oh, yeah, see? You get two batteries in the silicone rubber, which is not bad. But then, with the batteries, we get a bunch of copper, which again, I'm not sure if it's needed, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I should put those in the Recyclotron. But what I was gonna say is that, last episode, we could've used the Recyclotron to save so much time. And I realized that, literally right as I finished the video, <laughs> it's kind of saddening, in my opinion. I could've just done everything, it would've been nice and done, like, a long, long time ago. But, unfortunately, that didn't happen. So, what I'll do is I believe that these are for my upgrade there, yeah? Yeah, that looks about right. So I'm gonna put... What am I gonna do? I'm not sure, actually. I'm just gonna keep everything. I might even make the tether immediately, maybe? Because I think I can also make a... another aerogel just right now. We just need to get a gel sack, which we have a farm right outside our base, so, you know, that's quite easy. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I think I just need to break one. There you go. Oh, hi there! What'd you give me? Lead! Thank you so much, Sea Monkey. You're saving me a lot of time, you know? Because that means we can already make two components of the sea truck modules, which is quite goddamn awesome. 
let's just get that immediately going. Boom. Second aerogel. And then we can pick up our seed truck and carry it over to create both the... Ooh, we have choices, actually. Do we choose to create the fabrication or the... Uh, not shotgun. That's not it. It's the... Come on. Storage. I was thinking, like, sea truck, sea moth. No, it's... I know it's with an S. I just did not remember exactly the word. But I, I figured it out. It was storage. But yes, we have the choice. Storage and or fabrication. Uh, I might just get storage just because I think it's more interesting. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe mine changes right at the end or I press the wrong button. Ah, uh, yeah. I've already created those. So, first things first, let's get the reputation module. Because we already know we can create that. So that's, be, you know, nice and easy. There you go. Beautiful scanning of my four little guys there to create that beautiful thing. Uh, drop out early, please. Thank you very much. And then connect. Oh, good. Other side. Gotta go over here. Hello? I'd like to, con to connect these. This way? There you go. Oh, wow. On the top. Uh, it shows the yellow bars underneath the carriage. Those are apparently to showcase the amount of health of that carriage. That's quite interesting. I did not know that. It's good to know. Now, so our next part is storage and or fabrication. Yeah, we're gonna go storage. No need to time. No need to waste time. We're gonna say time waste, which is kind of strange. <laughs> but anyways. Boom! That's already two of five items that we needed to make. And then, you know, the fifth one, we only need some lead, which I guess we could come back to, actually. If we were really smart about it. That's quite awesome. But yeah, let's go straight into it. Back into a sea truck. Make this beautiful thing even longer. Uh, is it this way that we need to connect it? Hello? Uh, I can't see backwards. Okay, must not have been this way because it didn't connect. Open sesame. Hello? Why don't you connect? There you go. Now we've got three carriages. I can already feel the sea truck going slower. Slower? Slower. And that's kind of cool, actually, now that I think about it. But uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work because... Is it a bad thing having more carriages? It kind of seems like it would be, at least in my opinion. So we've got our teleportation, so we can come back here once we make the tether. We've got our storage, which would be nice if we're doing, you know, some sort of exploration and allows us to go, you know, further than we normally would. And obviously we've got our docking module so we can bring our prawn suit wherever we would like. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me immediately make the tether though, because, you know, I would love to use the teleportation uh, module correctly. So that should be quite good. And then let's see if we have any other extra items that we can make. I mean, I did see that. The tether tool facilitates oh. instant travel to a bed sea truck teleportation module. I on cube required for use. What? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> I need to use an iron cube each time. That's no fun. All right, I guess. I guess if it's compulsory, that is kind of annoying though. Ah, we'll be fine. Uh, what I will do though is just cook myself some of these fish to get our food levels up, and you know, a bit of our uh, water as well. You know, I really thought that in the previous game food was a bit harder to maintain, um, but this one is just really easy. I feel like the, just the progress goes a bit faster maybe, or it could just be because I actually know how to play the game now. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it, isn't it? Because, you know, when you first play a game, you know absolutely nothing. Whereas now, I'm, you know, I'm kind of familiar with the gameplay, I understand how most things work. Here, I'm gonna take that away, yeah, because I would love to pick up that lead, and then I guess I can put all those away in my lockers that I've created. But 
That's awesome. We've got another piece of lead there. Let's see what else do we have though. Because I'm kind of thinking that we should. We should. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that we should upgrade to more um, of the iron cube. Uh, what's it called? Of the power cells and you know iron batteries because that would be really good. But I'm also like not sure if we have a sustainable amount of um, iron cubes, or if the game even provides us with a sustainable amount later on. I'm kind of clueless. But for now, I guess I'll continue on. I have the fabrication module installed up on the top so we can see everything. That should be it, right? I might even put my items away though, just so then everything is nice. Uh, right, so we're gonna need two nickel, two lead, and that should be it, I believe. So that's quite awesome. Uh, I also gotta put the uranite crystal away. I have pulches for that. But there you go. So now we can get straight into it. Right, that's awesome. I'm gonna get myself these water uh, bottles from my water filtration machine, just so that it can also start working again. And yeah, I think we'll head on. I'm not sure where we might need to be right now, because I just can't remember. But there's gotta be somewhere we have to go, so I'll just go forward and hopefully we'll find something. Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, we know that we definitely need to get our. Um, whatever it's called. What's it called? We need to get some more lead and nickel, so we know that we want to go towards that direction. Now, I have no idea where my other thing is, so it's here. Oh god. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Oh, there you go. There's four. Beautiful. Now we head on. Ah, yikes. This is not going to go well, is it? There's going to be too many <laughs> of those things at once. Ah, uh, okay. So go all these architect artifacts, I know that pretty well. We can go to the pilot's last known location. We can go to the biome base. No. You know what, let's go to the drop to beacon, actually. Because we have our maxed out prawn suit. Uh, depth, at least. So, we should be able to get... some the meters deeper. We've also upgraded the sea truck as well, so we can do that as well. That's pretty cool. Oh god. I'm, I really don't like the slower speed of having like a bunch of things on here. I'm starting to think that this is not a good idea. But uh, we've made the choice now. Whether it's good or not, too late to change it. I mean, it's never too late, but you know. Let's just go full in. I'm just scared that we're going to lose absolutely everything. Because even though right now it doesn't look like we've spent much time creating all these things, but all of our different items that we've gathered throughout this, like, 11th, you know, episode series so far are basically what we used. As you saw on the... or one of the chests, at least, we don't have many minerals anymore, which is quite unfortunate. We need to do some digging. Oh, digging. Searching. Um... But you know, it is what it is. That's how this game works, and that's how many of these games work. I'm just kind of worried, because I can't actually see how close uh, some of these enemies are, if they're outside of my, like... What is it? Maybe like an 120 cone of you? So I'm not sure if whether... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether any of my carriages are being extremely hurt, because I hope not. I think it's really interesting playing a game like this, because you kind of learn, like, the creatures and get over your fears. Which, I don't know, I feel like it's not that obvious in horror games when that happens, right? It's either, like, you never get over your fears, or... Your fears were never, you know, big about some of these enemies. Whereas in Subnautica and obviously below zero, I always remember 
when I was like, oh my god, I remember being so scared of that enemy, right? So, but I always, like, over time, got used to them, which I think is something that some horror games don't even do. Oh god. What's happened? Uh, what's happened? Oh, great. Uh, I need to pay to my... Pay attention to my surroundings a bit more from the looks of it. Ah, uh, now this should be like a massive, yeah, a massive piece of land going up, which should have holes around it that will allow us to go down to the dropped beacon. Now the good thing about this area is that we should be able to explore it extremely easily, and the these holes are large enough to fit my sea truck right now, which is awesome. I know that we can go deeper with the sea truck and stuff, but I feel like here should be the deepest, because it looks kind of tricky to get through. I do a quick save, just in case I get stuck and can't go past. I'd love to be able to save my, you know, my title and come back. Ah, uh, these the root postules I needed for one of the tissue samples I believe, right? Let me quickly check. You know, uh, oxygen is not much of an issue right now. No, these are the flowering spores. What were the root postures? Were they... Whoa. Oh no. Oh no, these are one of the mesmerizers. Yeah, like these are similar to mesmerizers from the first Subnautica. I think they'll rattle later on in the game, but still, they're quite terrifying. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Let's ignore that then. Um, wanted to check something. Oh yeah, it's the... I remember, see, over time, memory comes back to me. No, I wanted... No, stop it! God damn it, leave me alone. I wanna check these. So I need gel sac, root postule, synthetic fibers, polyaniline, plastio, diamond. I have no idea where I have to make those though. So, um, there's gonna be a bit of time after I actually do it. So let's just continue on down. We've got another, like, 300. Oh, 275. That's close enough. I was thinking about how many meters more we had until our depth module um, reached its max. I don't know if that matters because we are getting into a kind of difficult position. Okay, no, no, we've reached it. We've reached it, that's quite nice. Uh, let's just go straight to our dropped beacon to pick it up, so then when we die we at least know the location of our death and any of the items we might have dropped. But if you don't remember, we've been here at around probably the 5th maybe episode, 4th maybe even, and I think it was an area that we weren't really meant to be in, because we could barely survive, you know. We had to be lucky with where we found uh, oxygen plants, otherwise we would have been dead in like seconds. So that's uh, quite lucky from us. Uh, where the hell is the goddamn beacon? Oh, I was right on it, apparently. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's just jump out, get that bad boy, and then probably do some res uh, do some searching with our prone suit because I think that may be a bit safer both for how the movement works in this uh, suit, as well as the, as well as some other things. Uh, I just want to make sure, yeah, our storage. I'm going to go and put those into the sea truck, because we want our prone suit to be as free as possible. Can we access parts of the storage module without getting in there? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can pilot the modules, so then I'm guessing you can move them into the truck better. That's quite smart, actually. Yeah. So there's only one entrance, but there are more multiple pilot positions for each module. That's goddamn cool as hell. I will put Thumper away. I'll put away my habitat builder. My... I think that's probably about it, right? No, I'll put my disinfected water away. 
Same as my water purification, my pangling, and my hydraulic fluid. There you go. The game should already automatically save uh, because we're inside one of our created areas. So that should be good. So now we can continue forward. I want to make sure I remember the buttons correctly. Yep. And then we start. So. I'm pretty sure. Can we collect these? No, we need to either come out or take away one of our upgrades, which I don't think is a good idea, so I'll just be coming out to pick up the nickel now when we find it. Right. So that's already a piece of nickel of the two that we needed to create the next upgrade for the Seymour. Nope. T-Truck. So that's pretty good already. Uh, we just now need a bunch of uh, lead. And we're already halfway there, probably. Because I think most of these outcrops are actually Galena ones, which provide us with that. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Maybe this one is though? Nope. Chance of silver as well. Oh man. Oh, that creature looks quite scary. Quite scary and disturbing indeed. Anyways, let's continue forward. Because I do remember we had found, I don't know if it was in this exact location, I very much doubt it actually, but we know that somewhere around this area, there are some sort of, like, cavens that are built with a lot of gems that we can find and search through, which I think would be really cool, because from some of the lore points that were spoken about yesterday by Alan, um, some of the areas for continuing the story, late game, I'm pretty sure are deeper down and are covered by some sort of gem. Which makes me think that those areas we had found might be the lead up to the, you know, end game areas that we haven't found yet. Which would be really cool to find, in my opinion. Let's just explore this for now. I recognize that we do not have too much uh, battery on this thing. If you ever played or watched Subnautica, you might know that the battery on the prawn suit um, runs kind of fast compared to everything else. Or at least that's my past experience. Each time I've tried to do anything with it, like, you don't realize how fast time is passing with this thing, and how much energy it actually uses, Uses so you're like, oh yeah, yeah, everything is good, and then, like, you're stuck at the end of the game, you know, unable to come out, being like, I am stuck, and I can't go back, because my prone suit is basically dead. Yeah, that's what happened to me a couple of times. Luckily I had an iron cube and I was able to use the teleporter the game provides the game to not a cup, but uh, still quite terrifying. Uh, it's not really the best thing. Not really the greatest thing you want to hear. Anyways, I'm not that worried about that big uh, fish, because you know, it's just a big fish. And I mean I'm a prone suit. Basically a pro at this game with this thing. I'm kind of interested to know like how much research the developers do to create different creatures. No, well, that's interesting to me. Okay, we got a lot of titanium and quartz, uh, like large bundles of mineral, but I don't think we need those items, at least not currently. Uh, but I do want to pick up some of the snickle. Let's get some spares as well. Make sure if there are any more upgrades with, uh, that require nickel, we can make them. I'll just continue down. This is gonna be a lot of like random exploring I feel like now. Just trying to find the correct way to go and like different pathways and where they lead. But this should be fun, hopefully. Are those more creature eggs or are these like new strange creatures? What are these? Hello? Oh, these are definitely creature eggs. Okay. 
Uh, yep, yeah, no thanks. I don't want them to be some sort of big, terrifying creature that kills me. Well, this isn't really the greatest place so far. I haven't found, you know, much excitement, at least not yet. Come on, grapple on. Alright, beautiful. I made a couple of meters of distance. Uh, right. Uh, is this a new area? Is this way to go further down, or is this gonna lead me back to where I was? Uh, it kinda seems like back to where I was. Well then. I can definitely see how I would've gotten lost in this area, though. Uh, a lot of different ways to go. Quite confusing. Can go further up? Yes, we can. Uh, I, I think I actually remember this. Uh, this is the call that I was thinking of currently, where I thought it made me even further down to unexplored areas. But, uh, I guess I was kind of wrong. You know, since we're gonna drop the beacon, what I might do then is head on out and try to find the different, uh, I guess, underground cavern that led to the pink, uh, gems area. Because I feel like it's going to be quite important to making a lot of progress. So let's just go and do that. You know, the more I think about it, the more kind of useless the teleportation module is going to be for later in game. Because if I'm maneuvering myself, you know, if I'm moving with a prone suit all the time, late game and my tether only works if I'm by myself you know I guess that's a good way to get out of the situations where you might be unable to like you know refuel your prone suit maybe like the situation I had in the first Subnautica I guess that's probably where you want to use it to get out of there or to get out of there with the ease at least Also, right now, I absolutely hate this. I have no idea how to get out of here. I know we should be looking up. Because there's going to be somewhere a hole that goes straight up, but I have no idea where. I mean, this is where we came from, so I'm starting to doubt that it's here. But we are gone. So we're going to check. Oh, you stupid thing! Flipping me dippity. Right, uh, I'm starting to doubt there's anything else down here, so we're gonna go straight up. And we're hopefully gonna go down to an area that we haven't been to before. Or we haven't explored in depth. What I'm thinking is that if we go over to the base of Marguerite, uh, check it first, see maybe if the quest line has continued, even though I pretty sure we still need to find some sort of greenhouse that isn't the alien one that we found last episode so that's interesting but if we go over to margaret's base we should be able to follow it deeper and deeper Secure down and um and therefore go to that biome that we haven't been to before vital signs stabilizing i also don't have a lot of food and water with me right now which is kind of unfortunate if you ask me Kind of unfortunate indeed. Okay. Now. What is that? That's a weird plant if you ask me. Weird as hell. Kind of look like something that I can't see on YouTube. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a, enough of a hint for people to understand what. Like, it was that thing, though, but as well as, like, the spine. So it was, like, the entire thing, not just, like, part of it. That's, you know, that's, that's a good hint, in my opinion. That should be enough for people to understand what I'm hinting at. Also, I've totally gone the wrong way. There should be a passage just that has a steeper drop. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Oh. 
Yeah, this looks right. It isn't extremely steeper, but definitely more than the last one. It's a lot different, you know? It's almost definitely a lot different having a massive sea truck rather than a small one. Because I'm definitely wrong about the steep drop. Is it here? It's like, no, this is exactly what you were before. That's gonna be the answer, isn't it? Ah. Oh, God damn it, I have four carriages and it's absolutely awkward carrying all four. Stop it. Stop it, please, just allow me to move. No. Yeah. Oh, nice and careful. Ooh, I'm losing a lot of everything. I've just done another loop. What am I doing with my life right now? What the hell am I doing? I'm just... Ah, oh, God damn it. I kind of don't like that noise. Okay, no, it's just a whale. Hello? Ah, uh, no, it's one of you guys. You know what that word is. So. So far, so far, <laughs> that's the most important word, or, you know, phrase in that, or in what I said. See, like, where the hell am I meant to go? Oh, let's get our zappity zap ready. Okay, I zapped as a precaution, you know, just make sure that it knows we're not to be messed with. And it knows it shouldn't come anywhere near us. I found it. It wasn't even literally. It definitely wasn't a steep drop as well. It was slow, gradual. It basically, even. I wouldn't even classify it as a drop. It was just a slow and gradual, like, staircase, kind of. That then led to a more steeper gradient. That's what it was. If you don't know what I mean, I mean the pathway, right? It's more like a tunnel going a bit further west, and then this steep drop that we're uh, exploring right now. Right, so a couple of things we want to check is this house here. See if Margaret is in there. If she's not, well, that makes sense, because we haven't technically continued her quest. But, you know, better check than not. Uh, are you in here? Nope, still locked. Well then, that's fine, because there wasn't even our goal coming here. Our real goal was take our beautiful sea carriage or sea train, as it is right now, and go deeper down. As you can see, the, the road is what I was going to say. This is not a road, but you know, there's a clear pathway leading further down. You can follow. In previous times, we were not able to use our sea truck to get even in this depth, so this is quite interesting and rare. I also need to keep in mind that if my food source and my water source runs low, I have a thermal blade to eat and kill fish with, so remember that. That's quite important. Now, I think there was a leviathan over yonder, so I might just stop my sea truck and drop my docked vehicle. No, I don't want to rename my storage. And also, put my nickel away and uh, check what else we have. With our prawn suit, though, we just don't want to hurt our poor sea truck, you know? Right. So we've got, is this copper? Yeah. And then I'm guessing we cannot mine this purple crystal. Yep, I am right. That's more copper over there. And then we have a bunch of uh, mineral deposits of quartz. And lithium, which I would definitely pick up, because we seem to need a lot of plastic lingots. Which uh, we're lacking of right now because we don't have a lot of lithium. Oh god. Oh, there's a Leviathan creature. Oh, that's a new one too. 
kind of looks like the ghost of Iathan's head, but the body looks entirely different. Right. I'm not sure if there's only one or if there are multiple, but it's scary. There it is in the distance. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to fall down just yet. I want to explore past this area. No, this is probably just another way to get here. Right? Because it's similar. Oh, I'm gonna guess. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, what are you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's really fast. Oh, it's really fast. Oh, move faster. Oh, move faster, bronze suit. Oh, I hope you're not behind me. Okay. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to come down here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. But I believe that this area is going to be similar to the... The underground, like the Ghost River. Oh, I forgot the name of it. In the original Subnautica, there was this area that kind of looked like a river underwater, right? Which is actually a real phenomenon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this area is going to be similar to that. Because that area had like multiple entrances from all the different major uh, biomes, uh, similar to that area above us. So, what do we have here? We've got Kyanite. Uh, Got this strange plant that I kind of want to scan. Okay, I guess I can't. Can I get anything from it though? Can't do that either. All right. Uh, is that it? <laughs> is that what we have as far down here? Just some kyanite, and you know, is that what we get? Uh, should I be disappointed? Because that is kind of disappointing. Oh, see, like, that looks like something I can pick up. Yeah, it's a creature egg. No, don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Are you kidding me again? Right, maybe this was just a, like... A red herring. Just a trick. But in reality, there are more things down here. I mean, obviously, there's that big Leviathan creature. Um... Way we came. Then we want to go closer to the Leviathan creature, don't we? Oh. Okay. Ah, so I was right. There is something important in this area. That's awesome. Hopefully, we'll find it this episode, and that could be our our big thing. Right. Well, if we can, that'd be awesome. But if not, that's understandable. Have I just reached the same location I was before? I don't think so. Hopefully not. Oh, uh, it might be though. It doesn't look like the same location, but it's basically the same idea. It's kind of like a ravine or a cavern. In this like mossy area with a bunch of gold deposits, silver, and kyanite. Oh. No, I'll mine some silver actually because we do need to make a bunch of silver uh, silver wiring kits uh, later on. So we'll mine some of this. Also, kind of because I kind of want a massage for my finger. You know, the good old uh, what's it called? I really am dropping out right now. Uh, adaptive triggers. The adaptive triggers are really, really good uh, with the drill arm in this game. You know, quite a good massage. Quite a good massage is given. Uh, but yes, it is quite nice. Oh god. I have definitely changed the... Uh, the everything. No, I've changed the sensitivity for the prone suit. A bit too high, but uh, I'll just keep it like this for now. Wow, we have gotten a lot of silver from this. Or at least it definitely feels like a lot of silver. Are we sure that there's no way to go further down from this location? The game seems pretty sure. Okay, let's just stop on this ledge and get our thrusters back up. Beautiful, and off we go. 
right, so we're gonna go further away from Nemo, probably towards the northeast. You know, in reality, I think we need to find the Leviathan and just go towards it. Because most times that's how the game wants us to explore or continue exploring. But if you have been to the active or inactive lava zone in any of these, oh, uh, in the first Subnautica, you know that at times it's just extreme luck that you find the correct way. So I'm just gonna guess that that's what's gonna happen for this as well. Because this is definitely the wrong way. There's just another one of these pathways. Oh, I'm hoping that I can stand on this ledge to recharge my prawn suit. Yep, quite lucky there. Alright. Not bad. Um, now, I'm thinking maybe we need to go closer to these gems. Because if the gems are the things that are blocking Alan senses, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's down into the gems that we find everything. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. That's awesome, Alan. I hope you're a good thing. Because even though we had some great conversations, I still don't trust you for some reason. Not because you're alien, truthfully, but you know. Let's ignore that. Hey, there you go, there's the portal. Open sesame, I am here, I am with Alan. Trust me. Hello? I guess I can't go in here with my prawn suit or something. Fine, I'll get out. That's fine with me. Oh, wait, have they made it so you can't go into water? Like, uh, sorry. Air, airy. No, 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 mm -mm. no, never mind. Never mind, that's dumb. Because we were on land and that's surrounded by air and not by water, so what I was gonna say is extremely nonsensical and doesn't make any sense. It's fine. This seems important though, right? This definitely seems important. And hopefully it takes less, less than like 18 minutes because that'd be sad. Oh, what's this? What is this? Architect component? What part? Wait a second. Architect you constituent will be able to parts. Construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Oh. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. Wait a second. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage uh body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body. I am able to approximate what <laughs> you might call cautious optimism. Was that it? Okay. Right. Oh, hello there. I think they can actually hurt you, so I'm not going to continue forward with them. But that's awesome. We have all three architect parts. So how does this work? Where can we make them? Also, uh, we might want to get some um, diamonds and kyanite. But I think we have all the architect parts required to then build Alan a body. That's awesome. If I haven't said that already. <laughs> Which I've said like a thousand times. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> it's really good. Let's pick up some of this kyanite. Um, that's at least like five. That's, you know, a good safe number I feel like. Then, yeah, if we find any diamonds, we need those two. Now we're just building up our repertoire. Getting everything that we may need for the architect body. So then once we go back to our base, we can build everything immediately. No, nice and easy. Uh, righty oh. Was that it then? Was that it? Was that it for this area here? I don't mind if that was it. Because that means we can continue the story. Welcome, yes, thank you very much. Right, well, let's go then. What am I do? Hmm, I'm not sure. I have a lot to go back on. I kind of want to keep you guys like visible and watching all this stuff because we never know when we might find something interesting or when a leviathan might come and try and eat us. 
So I'm gonna just continue exploring this area. Um, at the same time, it looks like we just, you know, reached where we came from. Oh god. Oh god. That's not good. Okay. No, run. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, thank goodness for being stuck. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's really good. All right then. Oof. Nice and simple. We just need to be the spider prawn suit, and then we'll all be set up properly. All right. That's awesome. Now, obviously, we need to continue the quest with Margaret, which I have no idea what her greenhouse is, though. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, we then also want to create the architect components now that we're able to, or at least now that we know the blueprints. I am not sure if we're able to though, because even though we do have the blueprints, I don't know if we have a location to build them from. No. No. Die. Die. Oh, what have you done? Oh, we've lost a lot of charge. We also need to get a jump thrusters back on. Quick, quick, quick. Run. Run. The drill does not do sufficient enough damage to keep the Leviathan at bay. Not like the Ghost Leviathan. Quick, go, go. Speed up. Oh, faster. Okay, beautiful. And one, two, three, jump in. Jump in. Quick. Quick! Ah, uh, yes, it's Alan. I've the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great! What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication what? facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Huh. Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, uh. but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Interesting. Because we know that they did not find a vaccine. If you played any of the first Subnautica game, you should know very well that the creator of the vaccine was us, the player of, you know, the first game. Because these architects tried to create a vaccine. They learned of an enzyme capable of getting rid of the disease, of the virus right but they were never able to mass produce it and you know spread it out throughout the entire planet but we just listened to the creature producing the enzyme that seemed to be a telepathic right and so it was able to speak to us and we just followed its instructions allowing mass production of the enzyme and therefore I guess, I was going to say solution, not solution, but, um, what would it be called? Um, mass production and also, I was going to say expulsion. It's not mass expulsion, but, you know, production, as well as just, uh, sharing it and putting it out there. It's a strange jellyfish. It's all by itself as well. Kind of weird. I think I've explored this already, and if I haven't, then what the hell? Why haven't I? So I'll just get past though. I don't want to be exploring things again and again and again. So I guess for now, I want to say thank you very much for joining me. Next time, we'll hopefully be doing some Marguerite quest, or maybe continuing the architect uh, body. We'll definitely be doing a couple of building components because. 
No? No? Where are we? Are we at the Delta station? Yeah. Alright. Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll definitely be doing some building, uh, some, yeah, building components. Uh, for example, the seed drop depth module Mark Three and one of the, um, extra modules that can be added onto it, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we should be doing quite a lot of things, and sometime soon we should also be earning the Platinum Trophy, and therefore ending the series. Um, so, since we are coming to the end, I would like to ask... Uh, what games you would like me to play, you know, that's kind of helpful. I would love to see your recommendations and see if I can, you know, indulge them. And I would also like to say, uh, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. I know, really, really strange words, right? Nobody has heard them before, but they are really, really useful. Uh, just, you know, for the channel, for me, and for anybody else that you really watch, you should do that too. Anyways, thank you very much. Enjoy your day, and goodbye.